today our topic is very, very quick. So it's the very end of our chapter on mass relationships. Um, and so very fast, get it down in your notes. Um, the title today is called Percent Yield. So what is this percent yield? To calculate percent yield, you take the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield and multiply that whole thing by 100 that will give you the percent yield. What this does, you guys, is this tells us, okay, we should have made this much product. This is how much we really made. So what percentage are we doing here in our chemical reaction? This number is never going to be 100%. For lots and lots of reasons in industrial chemistry labs, you want to make as much product in a chemical reaction as you can, but many, many things get in the way of all of your reactants being utilized completely. Temperature, surface tension, um, pressure. It just it, it doesn't happen. Uh, so, of course, in industry, they want to get this number as high as they possibly can. So they manipulate their environmental conditions so that this number gets as close to 100% as it can. But it um, doesn't happen. All right, so um, let's write some things down here. The theoretical yield. And again, um, like I said before, it is seldom achieved that the limiting reactant is completely consumed. Okay, so it is. Seldom achieved, if never. <coughs> Excuse me. How do we find the theoretical yield of a chemical reaction? How do we figure out how much of product um, theoretically should be made? Well, that's what we've been talking about the last couple of days. We use stoichiometry um, to do that. So, we use stoichiometry to find it. <coughs> All right, so we set up the problem, we utilize the mole ratio, and we come up with a theoretical amount of product that we should make. What is this thing? What is the actual yield? Well, the only way that we can find out how much has actually been made in a chemical reaction, 
not how much should be made, but how much is actually made, is two ways we can do that. First way is it's given in the problem. And the second way is we actually do the experiment ourselves. So we do the chemical reaction. And in laboratory, we perform the experiment. And then we take the product and we mask the product. And we see how much of it we've actually made. So let's go to the other board. The actual yield. how much product actually gets made. It's always going to be less than the theoretical. Okay, this number, this actual yield, this number is either given in the problem or is determined. Okay. 